IVC, Dale on Gate 433 here. Um, this is um, a response video to a video that James Griffiths um, put out. I, I watched, just watched it this morning. Um, so it's, um, it's early morning, Friday, 10th of July. Um, and yeah, James just done a video on um, genre specific compilation albums. Um, I have a few, um, don't have that many. Um, when I dug through my collection, I think I've got about 15. So I thought, well, I'll show you all 15 rather than um, deciding on 10. Um, so yeah. So cracking on. Um, first one is a uh, very popular and familiar in the in the in the VC. Um, this is the Nuggets compilation from '72 that um, Lenny K put together, showcasing um, '60s um, garage psych bands. Um, a lot of them sort of one-hit wonders or their early certainly their early releases. Um, so yeah, probably need to know further introduction in the VC it's just been featured a number of times second one um, is uh, then came rock and roll um, which is as you can guess um, 40 hits of, uh, of rock and roll um, so I originally got this when it came out in 1984 as a Christmas present on cassette um, and uh, still got that cassette somewhere um, but I saw this at a boot sale um, and uh, yeah, really informative, really great. Um, love, kind of got a soft spot for rock and roll, so um, obviously good to have a comp you can dip into. Um, uh, so that's that. Again, another kind of blast from the past. Um, I, I had a cassette, um, which was actually a cassette of this album, This Is Soul, um, which uh, is, is probably a bit of a cheat because it's more of an Atlantic sampler, but it's soul, all soul related. So it's got um, Benny King, Wilson Pickett, Eddie Floyd, Rita Franklin, Sam and Dave, um, Don Covey, Doris Troy, Booker T and the MGs, um, Arthur Connolly. I mean, it is real. I mean, Atlantic had great soul acts. So although it's an Atlantic soul compilation, it's a fantastic soul compilation in its own right. Um, and um, I've got two copies of this because I, 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 when I got back into vinyl, so I had that on cassette, when I got back into vinyl, I bought this album, This Is Soul, um, uh, thinking that's what I was buying, which is a kind of, this is a, for, a, for a predecessor, so an earlier, an earlier version of it. But when I played it, I thought that doesn't sound right. And it's because the track listing is slightly different. And I knew this from having the cassette in the car off by heart that I instantly knew, no, that's not right. That's not the album. And then through a bit of research, I realised that I'd picked up the 60s variant um, instead of the 80s variant that I was more, more familiar with. Um, so that's Soul. Um, now we're on to, hmm, I don't know what this is. Um, so this is called Katanga and it describes it as Mo Blues and Rhythm Popcorn Exotica and Titty Shakers. So yeah, apologies for the cover there. Um, uh, but um, yeah, this is like an Exotica... Um, sort of i don't know i i've got it up on discogs which and i think they don't know either because they describe it as jazz rock funk soul blues pop rhythm and blues soul rock and roll so um yeah so it's got all of that in it um it's kind of that um mad kind of i don't know mix of soul exotica dance hall um yeah i don't even recognize the artist but um i, I listened to it a bit and bought it so it's, it's a good fun it's a good fun listen i've not sold it very well but it's a good fun listen um again another cheat again probably because i've come i showed you this is soul well this is this is blues um which is another atlantic um i think sampler of their blues catalog and blues artists so it's got um it's got uh you know um elmore james and sonny boy willinson and freddie king on it and otis rush and junior wells and the like um but yeah so that's my blues uh folk so this is a is a quite a good um box that i picked up a few years ago um electric muse i think maddie's shown it as well um so this um seems to be a, a sort of a um, a partnership between Island Records and um, Transatlantic Records, obviously two two big um, folk folk rock um, UK uh, labels, um, and um, so it's a four it's a four album box um, the booklet um, that talks about each, but it's they've mixed it up so it's not like um, a chronological um, it's a mix, um, but it's got on it. So I'll, I'll see. 
four albums, they've all got the same cover on them. Um, it's a mix of, um, so it's got Chieftains, Dubliners, Fairport Convention, Roy Harper, Linda's Farm, John Martin, Ralph Mattel, Pentangle, Steel Ice Band and Traffic, but it's also, and it's also got a few other kind of more obscure artists as well, but um, yeah, it's a good, uh, good box. Um, this um, has been shown a lot in the VC over the years. Um, uh, I still got this in the shrink. It's Tropicalia, um, which is Brazilian MPB um, kind of um, compilation. Um, uh, I think this is a bit of a dodgy boot of it. I think by Lilith Records, which I'm not sure are totally legit. Um, apologies if they are, but this has got kind of like um, Osmo Chantis, Satano Veloso, um, Gil, Gil, Gil Gilberto, um, or Gilberto Gil. Um, um, yeah, um, sort of a lot of the kind of um, most famous Brazilian artists in that compilation. <coughs> Next one is um, uh, something out on the Luaka Bop album, which I think is David Burns um, label. Um, so yeah, Luaka Bop label, sorry, not, not album. Um, and this is called, um, so this is World Psychedelic Classics 3. There was a series. I think I've got them all. One of them was um, artist specific about Tim Meyer. I um, can't remember what the other one was. Um, uh, so this is the third one, Loves the Real Thing, the fuzzy, sorry, the funky fuzzy sounds of West Africa. So it's a compilation of West African artists with a funky fuzzy leaning um, to them. And it has got, uh, it's got, yeah, it's got William Onyebor on it, um, and kind of from this, um, not long after, there was a William Onyebor, who, who is William Onyebor, kind of album, triple album of of his um, sort of greatest hits or um, that I bought, which was fantastic, and I still have. Um, so, yeah, so hard to recommend that. This um, is a great, fun compilation. Um, uh, it is Kumbaya's and Chicadelica's Peruvian Psychedelic Chica. So um, if you're after uh, some psychedelic chica for your album, because uh, for your collection, because that's what's missing, this is just the job. Um, so yeah, this is um, sort of South American, well Peruvian. Um, bands um put out that i don't know what how you describe it um how do you describe it um it's kind of a kind of garagey surfy um good time latiny um type a lot of instrumentals um music um from south america and uh, yeah it's a good fun listen okay so now the last five are all themed um and i'm back to my compilation um, hero, um, or becoming my compilation hero, Bob Stanley. Um, so a few years ago, Bob Stanley did a um, series of records for Sainsbury's, which is one of the one of the large supermarket chains in the UK, um, one of the biggest. And um, he they st were starting to put out vinyl in the supermarkets, and he did some compilations for them. Um, so that this is the first and. Um, all will become apparent but um yeah so it's called um uh a taste of um so they're not exactly specific they're kind of maybe subgenres or or something but um so this first one is called high fidelity and it's a taste of stereo sound um and this is supposed to pick up um you know acts that all kind of came to prominence in the early 70s to mid 70s when people were investing in the hi-fi sound so it's got the like of as you'd expect, Mike Oldfield, Tubular Bells, um, Yes, Wondrous Stories, Moody Blues, Question, Roxy Music, Avalon, um, but it's also got, you know, Tangerine Dream, Mil Mink Deville, um, uh, Giorgio Moroder, um, it's, it, it, and what he does, <coughs> you know, he, pick, he picks sort of, if you like, obvious cuts, well, obvious only when you hear them, That's the, I guess that's the skill of putting together compilation albums, obvious cuts, and a few deeper cuts, like the Mike Oldfield Tubular Bells is the single version, not the kind of album version, and it's kind of, to me, I didn't remember it um, at all, and it's fantastic. Um, and he's, you know, he just chucks stuff in, it's got like the Commodore's Easy in it as well, so, you know, strange combinations, but they just seem to work. Um, 
to say the skill of, of, of a compiler um, uh, so um, so yeah so that's the first of this and I think it, obviously remember the packaging um, because then the second um, was called uh, coming into Los Angeles um, uh, I'm not going to show the insides anymore because pretty much they all look like that they all got similar packaging funnily enough but yeah so coming to Los Angeles a taste of the west coast um, so um, this has got um, Mamas and the Papas, Love, Monkeys, Buffalo Springfield, Tim Buckley, America, Little Feet, Linda Ronstadt, Birds, Flying Burrito Brothers, um, and it's kind of you know, Linda Perhax and Gene Clark um, as well. So it's kind of it mixes, as I say, um, some some standards with some slightly deeper cuts in on all of these, um, which is what I like about I say Bob Stanley. Um, so this is the second, um, and then I'm going to lose, I'm going to lose my chronology here, but I'll just go through them. So this next one is a really great compilation to play um, on a Saturday night, um, uh, all nighter, um, a taste of Northern Soul, um, and uh, yeah. So this has got um, starts off with Frank Wilson, "Do I Love You," um, which is a, a you know a real kind of Northern Soul classic. Um, and it's got you know the Tams on it. Well, obviously, reading out Northern Soul artists doesn't mean much because normally they're obscure artists who who, only, who had obscure songs who ended up being Northern Soul. Um, so, and I'm not super up on Northern Soul that I'm not going to pick the ones that everyone's going to go. Oh, it's got that. Oh, it's got that. If they're Northern Soul experts, so I'm not going to do that justice. Um, uh, but uh, if you play it, so it's got Edwin Star Time and Frankie Valley in the Four Seasons, The Night, which I know do know are um, um, you know probably Northern Soul classics. So. But I, you know, I thoroughly could put this on and play the double album. So you know, these are all double albums, by the way. If I hadn't said, um, yeah. So that's one on Northern Soul. Penultimate record is called Video Syncratic, um, a taste of synth pop. Um, and so this war has got um, again sort of early eighties um, synth pop, Human League. Or, OMD, Spandau Ballet, um, uh, Heaven 17, Tears for Fears, um, Visage, Duran Duran, Japan, but also kind of it's got Telex, um, uh, Buggles, um, Our Daughter's Wedding, Peter Schilling, um, you know, B-movie. So, so again, sort of um, common artists, not necessarily with their common cut. So Buggles, it's the, the Plastic Age is the Buggles song that he's picked, for example. Um, Soft Cell, he's picked Torch, he hasn't picked, you know, so he's not picking, you might pick in familiar artists, but not their, not their standouts necessarily, and so it gives you it, so, so it's a good, good compilation, and then the final one um, that he put out, and unfortunately he hasn't put any out since, um, it's called Meat on the Ledge, um, A Taste of Folk Rock, um, which um, is, it's um, got John and Beverly Martin, Jeff Rotal, Fairport Convention, Bill, but then Bill Fay, Doctor Strangely Strange, Forest, Tudor Lodge, Plain Song, Cobb, you know, so some some pretty obscure stuff if you like from your average. Um, so these are and these are on the shelves of supermarkets um, in the UK for people to pick up um, in you know 2018. Um, people can be picking up albums in the in the one of the biggest supermarket chains that have got Tudor Lodge, Plain Song, Cobb. Um, you know, um, Doctor Strangely Strange on them, which uh, I think that's pretty, uh, pretty amazing. I don't know how many did pick them up, um, or how many put them back again, um, or not. But um, yeah, so uh, um, and the reason, so the packaging. The reason I said is, is sort of slight link, but slight is um, Johnny Trunk, who um, another sort of person that I kind of follow and admire quite a lot is Johnny Trunk, who. Um, I think he's a kind of library music aficionado, jazz aficionado. He's got his own label and he puts out, um, a, he rescues or puts out obscure um, sort of long lost either library records or soundtracks um, that he wants to um, get out to the world in short runs. Um, and um, I bought a few of his, like he put out the Kez soundtrack um, a year or two ago to the film Kez, um, which um, 
it's only like one thing's only one side of music about 19 minutes of music but um um he kind of put it out there because otherwise it's not out there um on vinyl um so my only slight grumble which i have written to him about is that i think it's i don't know who he gets to press his records but often they're a little bit crackly um um so uh yeah so it seems to me i'd say if you're gonna go to that trouble um i guess get that bit right as well or better um but uh so can't grumble he's, i think he's doing a fantastic thing for the um music industry and for art in general so uh, but this is um i've got a couple of books by him um sad person that i am and this one is called own label and it's about sainsbury's the supermarket and their um own label packaging um and how it's developed from the sort of i guess the 30s and the 40s um so from uh and it's got you know pictures of of the supermarkets back in the day um how the packaging might have looked back in the day and how it evolved um through it so i'm not picking i'm not picking um classics here but you know how how they did their own their own label packaging so it's um you know again totally admire his dedication to a cause in researching and putting together a book um of um pictures and sort of information about own label brands from the supermarket um he's also done one on sweet wrappers which i've also bought as well um sweet wrappers through the ages um so uh, yeah um so that's a bit of an aside on this so but that is definitely um own labels okay so i'll stop there thank you and thanks for the idea james <laughs>